I'm Big Will Evanson, and it's time to talk sports. It's week two of CMU fall football camp, and boy, are we glad this sport is back. <laughs> Boy, it is great to have football back, and it's back here on the campus of Colorado Mesa as the Mavs are getting ready for what they hope is an improved new season. It's just been fun watching these guys starting to compete at the level that is expected. Um, you know, we've had a lot of great things, both sides of the ball, and kind of saw it today as it goes. The offense is now starting to kind of get it to click and get it put together, so defense got to raise up, but it's been fun watching this progression. Now we got to start putting the pieces together and where everything fits. You know, it's great to be back. You know, anytime football's on, it's awesome. So we love that part. And, you know, having all the guys here, seeing them work together is a lot of fun. So just got to fine tune the details and get the little things right. Football is a game of inches, and the little things matter if the Mavs want to win more games than last year's four. But with two weeks to go before the season starts, there's still plenty of work to be done. I love what's going on right now. We have changed as a team. We've got guys that are in it for the right reasons, pushing each other, learning how to practice, and we talk about it every single day. Um, you know, but we've got a long ways to go. And well, if the Mavs want to reach their goals, it's going to start with the big men up front. And let me tell you, if you ever want to feel small, go to a football practice. Maybe I'm not so big. In order for us to get to the championship level where we want to be at, we got to win on the line of scrimmage. Um, so that's been awesome to see. The offensive line with the addition of some freshmen have just came out and, and shown vast improvement from where we were at last year. And um, We've got to do a great job of being able to run the ball and then protecting the quarterback for us to be successful. Yeah, we all think that this line's got a lot of potential, but that's what it is. They got to prove it. You know, and that's just where we're at, and that's why I'm trying to push them. We're trying to push them like that every day that we say we got potential, but we got to prove it. We got a lot of potential all over the field, you know, honestly, just with some of the athletes. But, you know, we got to do it day in and day out and do it right. Day in and day out. There's only 17 days until CMU sees Texas A&M Kingsville lining up against them. The Mavs are putting in the work to make sure they do it right. Reporting from heaven on earth, I mean the football field, I'm Big Will Levinson. Well, from one CMU football to another, the Mavs soccer team is also at practice preparing for their season in two weeks. The CMU soccer team is back on the pitch and putting in work for a new season. Before the new year begins, the Mavs are in Utah this week for a preseason scrimmage with Utah Valley. But once they're back, the focus will be on improving off of last year's 9-7-1 record. We're fitter than we were last year, but we still have a long ways to go. A lot of new guys, so just trying to get everybody used to one another and kind of up to speed on our system and how we play. So um, we're very much a work in progress at this point. I think we're expecting a lot of improvement this year. Um, last year was a little rough season, a little hiccup, um, in, I think, in, develop, in the development years. But I think this year uh, we have a great, great group of guys coming in and, you know, from our uh, old guys that are coming back. Uh, I think we're really strong and we're, we really believe that this is going to be our redemption year um, and that we can do a lot of damage this year. Coach, what do you think your team has to work on to make 2023 the redemption year? I think just mentality, being mentally tougher when we face adversity. You know, anytime you know you go through and, and win a championship during a year, you're not just getting that storybook um, fairy tale you know, situation. Um, if we're going to be a team that reaches those heights, we have to be able to respond well to adversity and I think that's the biggest uh, thing that we need to tackle for this year. And for the team starting goalie Diego Chavez, he may only be a redshirt sophomore athletically, but he's been in the program for four years and now finally the full-time starter. He's ready to step up as a leader. I've been a big believer in leading by example. You know, throughout these trainings, I like to be the one you know, working the hardest. If, you know, if I make a mistake, I'm going to work the hardest to make that mistake right. I'm not going to be the one to tell somebody else to do it because it's really easy as a goalkeeper to do that as well, to just sit back and be like, well, you know, you should have done this or you should have done that. It's one of those things where you got to be like, you know what, as a team, what can we do together um, to fill that role? So, and I think this team has all that it takes for that exactly. So it's not, it's not really hard to lead a team that's, that's easy to be led, you know what I mean? And there's a lot of leaders on this team, it's not just me. So it's easy to just come together as leaders and just be like, hey, what do we need to figure out? If, our, if all of our starting 11s are leaders, then it's you know, easier than, than anything else. So. Game one versus Texas A&M International on the 31st is on its way, and the Mavs want to start hot. That's all my time for sports. I'm Big Will Levinson.